time we say that, uh, that we're close to the end, we have two or three streams left. No, no, you're not going to have two or three streams left. What do you think? No. I don't know. Um, I think we'll finish. Um, My understanding is day seven is pretty short and we're midway through day six. Or, or at least we're... No, we just started day six. But we're farther than just started. We may not be midway through. We got, we got out of the first room. Yeah. I think we're going to be done. I think we're going to kick this game's ass. <laughs> Knock it out of the park. That's what I think. The game has kicked our ass long enough. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't think we've had... Seven, let's say let's say this is the last one. I don't think we've had seven streams of anything for a while now. I mean, when you guys played Phantasmagoria 1 for the first time, it took you ten streams. And when we played it the second time, it took us four streams. Yeah, because Tori's... She's a... She gets it. She's a... She learned, she's a quick learner. Well, she was there, so... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but on the other hand... Well, I was Paul, there for Paul, Fantas yeah. too, and I was terrible at it. I couldn't get through it. I could not get through it. You know, I just realized we always talk about you know, the the first puzzle in the game with getting Blob to get the, the wallet from uh, beneath the couch. Mm -hmm. and, and we always talk about the, the final puzzle, but we never talk about them together. You do understand that the game has a really obtuse first puzzle and a really obtuse last puzzle. And it's, it is bookended by, by two bad puzzles. Yeah, and all the puzzles in between. <laughs> nah, Rat Boy, Rat Boy is the pinnacle of adventure game puzzles. What, the password, Rat Boy? Yeah. 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 Because it requires you to listen and to figure out that since um, since Bob was the one that locked your computer, then it's probably the nickname he uses. And since it's 1990, then passwords are really short and basic <laughs> and have spaces in them. Like right, are we ready for this thing? Are we ready for this in nine seconds? Are we ready to go? I'm ready. Psyched up. Okay. I'm psyched up too. Let's go. <clears throat> Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis on Monday, uh, March 18th. How did everybody, uh, did anybody celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Do you guys uh, have a green beer or wear green or go do any St. Patrick-y day things. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Well, thanks for joining today. Uh, let's see, seeing a few people in the chat. <laughs> I don't like Star Wars is back. That cracks me up. Good to see you. Uh, Ozzy's here. Girl fans here. Zen, Solipsist, Dragoon, and Weird. Hello, Weird. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, I think we are we're, we're coming near the end of our of our journey through under a killing moon. I, I'm I'm predicting we finish the game today. That's my prediction. I even predict that we're going to get through it before our two hours are up, and we have to come up with something else to do. So if that's the case, well, we have a couple of ideas, and we want to hear your ideas too. But uh, thanks for joining. I uh, hope you had a good weekend. I'm going to bring out uh, Daniel and Noah in just a second. So let's just very quickly say thank you to our Patreon members. What's up, Patreon members? Thank you for your support and appreciate you guys. And if you are in a position to join this lovely group of, of monthly donors, we sure would appreciate your uh, your support. And then when you do join us, you get to be in yellow for a little while, like Tommy V85, who just joined us. And we get to say your name and say thank you for joining and being part of the, of the family. Uh, if you can't join us on a monthly uh, basis, you can always pitch in a little bit during our streams and just give us a little something to get us through our, hopefully to get us to our goal for the day. 
And uh, you do that through supporting us on coffee.com. And uh, that's our goal right there. If you can help us get to that, that would be great. And then if you are one of the donors who helped us get to that goal and uh, and you're in the top seven, we will say your name like I will right now. Last 30 days, CompuArt still at number one, CJ at number two, Jwex at number three, Nolan, Ozzy Astaroth, Doppelganger, Doppelganger at number six, and Joseph Austin at number seven. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. All right, let's bring out Daniel and Noah, and let's get back to Under a Killing Moon. Hello. Hey. Hello. It's nice Hi. to see the not it's nice to see you not uh, as as a as a stagnant picture yeah as i woke up this time i didn't <laughs> oversleep <laughs> uh how's it going how's uh we, we've been chatting a little bit before the, the stream you guys have an okay weekend and doing okay daniel seen dune finally <clears throat> yeah oh on imax tell us tell us what was your uh it, what it did you a... think you know, the, the last movie that I considered a great uh, cinematic experience was Blade Runner 2049. Mm. And I think that Dune 2 replaces it for me as the ultimate cinematic experience. Because I haven't seen Dune 1 at the cinema. Because at the time, it was the cinemas were closed because of COVID. Mm. And you had it on HBO Max. So I eventually watched it on TV. But yeah. Well, it's, well... it's from the same director. So... Are you saying you said cinematic experience or a Cinemax or or an IMAX experience? Cinematic experience. Wow. So you're just going full on. That that's your best cinematic experience ever. And and they're the same director, so he's a big fan of that director too, and that's well and well deserved because they're they're all good movies. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very cool. Well, that's uh uh that's that's high praise. That is high it praise. Is. What is it that made that what is it that made both those movies do it for you? Just the at the scope, the the what is it? It's the visuals, it's the, the story. The, the visuals, you know, nowadays you have great CGI in a lot of movies and bad CGI in other movies, but it's the world building in both of them. It's not too much, so it doesn't drag on. But it's just the right amount to, to give you enough for world building and atmosphere in addition to the story and the plot. And that's yeah. something when that you, you, it's best experienced at the cinema. Yeah. When you guys watch movies now, do you playing games as much as you do? Do you do you sometimes do you do you feel like movies sometimes feel like games to you? Like there's there, the elements or the games and is there a crossover in terms of nah. how, how story is being told? Not really. Um, some games are a lot, are, are, try to be a lot more like movies, like the call of duty games try to be a lot like movies, a lot like, uh, like Michael Bay type movies, very action mm-hmm. like that. But, uh, ordinarily, no, I don't find they don't, they don't tend to be similar at all. Um, well, there's yeah. a my my son was talking about he he and his buddies watched uh what is it it's like a some horror movie like uh, Lights Out or something like that and and the the the, the he was telling us that the, you know the, the evil entity in that moves around in the dark and can kill you in the dark but if you turn the light on uh it it stops her in her tracks right and so that's the one way you can you can fight uh, but when I played uh. Uh, little nightmares too. There's the same thing. There are these like mannequins that come at you, and mm. it's and you, the only way to stop them is by turning the light on, and it stops them in their tracks, and then you can move them back and move them forward. And so I just when he was explaining that moment in the in the uh, in that horror film, I thought, oh man, there's there's some similarities going on through through these these mediums i thought that was interesting i think that one one thing that computer games or video games in general try to do that's more cinematic nowadays is better sound design because back back in the day you know they didn't give that much emphasis on sound given the fact that in the early 90s sierra even used their own employees as voice actors while lucas arts was who's the subsidiary of lucasfilm knew that they need to use voice actors to give a better experience. And so they that, that's why when we interviewed Danny Delk, I asked him why back in 1993, how how was it for a voice actor to work on computer games, which you know, at the time was a, a, a pastime activity for nerds. 
Okay, what was his response? I can't remember. He he it was to him it was just another gig, right? Yeah, back then, you know, it it seems like like for them it was a new experience and probably easy money, just like Christopher Walken and yeah. was part of Ripper because it seemed like you know, it's the new buzzword, multimedia experience. So mm -hmm. they wanted to be a part of it. That and the million dollars he got. <laughs> exactly. You got a million dollars? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. Well, so what do you think? Should we dive into this thing? Anything else uh, we need to anything else we want to chat about before before we go? Do you agree with the best cinematic experience? No, is it is that is it that high up there in your in your world? Truthfully, I haven't been to the movies all that much in the past few years. I yeah. just don't get out that much, but um I think if it I think if uh, any movie demands to be seen on a big screen, yeah, it would be Dune Part 2. Um, yeah, so there's some movies that, that really deserve to be seen on a big screen. I think Dune, Dune is one of them, yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, uh, that's funny. Uh, Paul, Mr. Paul, Mr. Paul Murr, who seems like a new person. Welcome. Thanks for joining. He just read, we play the putt-putt game sometimes. So maybe we can put that in the in the hopper as if, if something we might want to if we finish this game today, what are the what what are we playing? What else are we playing? We we're thinking about maybe a Jackbox game of some sort. But anyways, let's let's not put the cart before the horse. Let's just get on the horse and see what happens. I don't know. I'm starting to remember this stage, and I think it might get pretty hard. So let's. Uh, okay. We might be we might be mired here for a while. We'll yeah. see. I think we're gonna get to part eight. That's oh, my theory. That. But there is no part eight. You said there's only there's only day seven. No, uh, us we're Kentucky. gonna get to part eight. Yeah. We're gonna, yeah. yeah, this we're... is live stream number seven. So, oh no no no, we're we're gonna get to this. Ooh, this is like this is just like the other room. Yeah, actually, just the same. This reminds. Room as I, the where's the bot? GRS, is there a bot coming after us? It's the GRS with different textures. Jeez. Yeah, cheaters. Okay, we got our first Looks puzzle. Like the access panel requires some kind of ID badge. I ID bet badge. we have an idea. Oh, we don't have anything anymore. I got everything got taken away, right? Yeah, watch with the hidden chip. What is this one? Does that need an ID badge? No. This door looks like it probably opens from the other side. So let's go to, to can we open it to go to the other side? No, it you can't open it and the that's emer that's an emergency access. We're already stuck. We're never gonna get out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I, I can give up. I can smell part nine around the corner. <laughs> what about Stasis this Stasis room. Yes. As I enter the stasis room, I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. I'm no What's Prince up, Charming, but there's a sleeping beauty lying peacefully in a cryonic chamber. It's Ava Shanzi. Boy, do I need to talk to her. As I look around, I spot a console nearby. Looking it over, I figure it must be used to control the cryonic sleep state. If I can resuscitate Ava, maybe we can still stop the cult. I've seen consoles like this before. The four oh buttons boy. on the top must administer injections. The two slider controls look like they regulate the air temperature and oxygen level inside the cryonic tube. I seem to remember that slider mechanisms like these are really sensitive and need to be moved slowly. Well, first Part things ten. first, I'll need to turn this thing on. All right, turn it on. You're not a doctor. Boom. <laughs> All right, so this is a bad state. idea. Oh well, we're gonna we could potentially kill her, huh? Is that she's oh, yeah. in cry, she's <laughs> in her cryogenic. Yeah, let's start with a hint. Avoiding oh, the GRS security eye in the hallway, yeah. resuscitating. Let's do that. We oh, wait. There's a GRS security eye. How did we get no. past it? I, I don't know why it's showing those clues because we're yeah. already well past that. That's. <laughs> Move one of the yeah, sliders. Well, that's well, not that a hint. <laughs> <laughs> that's a general ob observation. Uh oh. Yeah. Move one of the sliders. Mm. Oh, yellow warning. Is he happy? No, that's a lot. Good. Maybe I should move the slider back to where it was and try again. Uh, oh, wow. She so talk about fidgeting, the fidget of death. Okay. Uh, move the green stasis. slider. See what that's like. Stasis slider chain. Stasis How was chain I supposed out? to figure out that stupid stasis panel? It's hardly. What? We're oh. dead? 
We hey, died? Hey, we, no, we got I've seen hey, we, consoles like this before. Get a second chance. The four buttons along the top must administer injections. The two slider controls look like they regulate the air temperature. Okay, you got it. You turned it off. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how you fix things. Show. You turn them off and on again. Turn the temperature up. We gotta mm. unfrost this popsicle. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, no, not that one. <laughs> the temperature. It's, oh, temperature. temperature. It's too low. Uh -huh. yeah, a red light went uh -huh, on red. those phase one boxes. I must have done something right. Now I've got to get those other boxes to light up. Which box light? Which box lit up? Oh, that thing, that little red light. Okay. Oh. Uh, too much. Uh, I'd say yeah, mid low sixties. Leave, leave it there. 60s. Leave it there. No. there you go. Now fiddle okay. with the oxygen. Okay. See now we can do it. Oh, got it. Stop. Okay, do it. Do it. Nah. Down. There you go. There you go. Nice. Okay, All leave right. it there. Uh, the electrical shock. Can you click up at the top? Sodium pulse rate. What? No sodium you... bicarbonate. And can you click those? Do they do anything? Nope. Oops. Nope. Go back. Nope. Can't go back. Don't kill her. Don't Can't kill her. inject it. No. 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 <laughs> Oh, she's okay. She's all right. She's fine. Uh, pulse rate, <laughs> cortical activity. Now, when you click those, does that make uh, something else that we're? I don't know what we're controlling at this point. All we seem to be able to control is the temperature and the oxygen. Let's let's administer adrenaline. Uh, okay. Okay. So you just click that, and she's yeah. Oh, you got a third thing. Yeah, I got a third thing. Great, it's good. And now we're going to shock her. Let's give her a little shock. Where? Up at the electrical, electrical shock, shock on the upper right. Yeah. yeah. I'm not and sure. Just give her two. Just give her two hundred joules. Boom! Phase one complete. Wow. Do okay. We, do any of us know what we're doing? No. No. Okay. So we you could have been a doctor, Paul. We you sound, you sound, you sound like a doctor. We got to the third thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's administer the fourth thing, shall we? Okay. Uh, court, let's this look have at some been cortical activity. Now, wait, so we've done, how do we get to phase two? We got to keep moving things This around. is science. We do it in the imperial measurements. Okay, hit some sodium pentothal. See what happens. Boom, okay, warning signs, unstable. All right, let it go. Sit back. Let it relax. Oh, she's not happy. Okay, Okay, a little more temperature. A little sauna. Doing good. No way. Oh, yeah. nice, Daniel. Where we go? A little more oxygen, maybe? Yeah. No, no. Uh, uh, uh. you're killing her. <laughs> okay. Um, let's shock her again. The complete lack of music and sound effects is also really great. <laughs> that's so true. It's kind of <laughs> that's true. Music and sound effects. Is that uh, did you turn it off accidentally, Daniel? No, I don't think so. No. Man. More adrenaline. Okay. More adrenaline. We all, we all need more adrenaline. No, we're killing her. Well, both of my parents are doctors. Maybe I should call them. Yeah. Uh, how to how to unfreeze people? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so so I'm playing uh, under a killing moon, mom. So what next? Yeah. <laughs> sodium pentothal. Have we tried that? Not sodium. bicarbonate. Pentothal, damn it. Yes. Nice work. Now bicarbonate. And then let's shock her. <laughs> nope. Take a minute. Okay, now shock her and then bicarbonate. Wait, maybe we should oxygen some... down a little. Down. Yeah, and now give her a little shock. No, don't, don't keep going down. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay. We get to the second thing. Let's give her a shock. Boop. Yeah. No. Uh -oh. She didn't like that. Okay. Sorry about that. What's her name again? Wait, isn't this? Oh, what did you do? Stupid. You killed her. You killed her Wait. with a stupid shock. So in this case, when we see.
Now we got to remember everything. Oh, no, it brought us back to stage. Two. Okay. Wow. All right. Where so has this thing. functionality been for the entire game? Uh, thank you, game. So I was going to say, I was going to say, we have to remember everything we did up to this point. <laughs> Yes, uh, Elizabeth uh, just nailed it. I, I Listen, I played a doctor on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so please let me take it from here. Of course, that that character died too. And then, of course, I died too. So, I mean, I guess I, you wouldn't, I wouldn't trust me. Uh, I think we right. should use sodium bicarbonate. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. Maybe I should wait a few seconds and see if it goes off before I try anything else. Do the yeah, epinephrine. No, wait. Wait. Let it go off. There we go. Now you're good. Boom. It keeps fast. Oh. Yeah. Boom. Okay. There we go. Way to go, Dr. Spoonie. Okay. This, this, this is so random and <laughs> bizarre and dumb and fun. I like, the fi I like the final puzzle in Phantasmagora, too. When you, when you clap... When you click on cortical activity or pulse rate, does that do something? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what you're able to do when you click things, Daniel. Tell I think us that's what's... just an indicator. No, I don't that's think just an indicator, doesn't... and the pulse shows you that she's alive. Okay, you can't do any. All you can do is all we can do is change the temperature, the oxygen, or hit and, or any of those four buttons. Yeah. So right? okay. So the temperature is up. I don't know oxygen. if we want to make it 90 degrees. That seems a little. Seems a little much, but I don't not... know. You guys use Fahrenheit. How much? She looks is... okay. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Paul. Oh, Ninety-eight point six is our that. Okay, I see. It's it's the body temperature. So we want to get her. We want to eventually get her to ninety-eight point six. Oxygen. Yeah, you're doing right with the oxygen. Okay. So yeah, okay. 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 She's alive. Okay. More oxygen, says Monk. Monk. No, oh, I gave her enough oxygen. Now, now we're past. We're it's, getting uh... to the resuscitation complete phase okay so oh we did it nice uh so i think we should just do a little sodium bicarbonate don't you think yeah no dang it wait a minute <laughs> let her relax <laughs> how about some sodium pentothal let's try that <laughs> dang it. you all right let's give her some more body temperature what well, how was oh that this is the stasis this room. The what a terror. Last thing. There's nothing stasis this. about this room. Oh, man. Crap. We started over. Oh, oh no. We were getting all cocky. Do you remember? Oh, oh. yes. Boom. We're what? back. All right, good. <laughs> all right. So give her some more temperature. Get her closer to 98.6. All right, there we Boom. go. Okay, now okay, we've got so her at her normal box. temperature. Boom. There you okay. Go. okay, good. All right, nice. Now I think we should use adrenaline twice. I don't know, okay. but okay, go for it. <laughs> okay, there's one. Hmm. Doctor, oh. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. And now we do an electrical Maybe shock. Wait a few seconds. And the see last little shock will get her. You know, it, it's know, why, annoying. Why is it's this annoying one, because why is, it seems like the, the button is disabled. The, the why is this truck. puzzle kind of... Yeah, why is one white and one is grayed out? It looks like it's grayed out. Yeah. There's something about this puzzle that uh, is... Uh oh It's weirdly satisfying and fun. Well, how was I oh, except for the death part. Stasis. It's like this game even admits that this puzzle is entirely random. Well, I enter this. Like, or yeah. how he goes, how was I supposed to figure out that stupid panel? You know, like, <laughs> no. how is anybody right. supposed to figure out the panel? It's, I want it's... two sodium pentothals, one epinephrine, and a minor electrical shock, so please. Mm. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. Well, there's one Maybe thing I we haven't tried. I can see if it goes off before I try anything else. Sodium bicarbonate? Yeah. Wait, wait for the light to go off. Now you can do it. Boom. <laughs> Where's the sound effects? There's something wrong here. I think they ran out of budget. So is it all over? Are your prophecies taken care of? Well, well she's not even aren't like my job description. Okay, I'm just a humble PI trying to save the world as we know it. Well, if you're not in the cult, then what are you doing here? Look, 
I think we're running out of time here, but my name's Tex Murphy. I know you're Ava oh, Shanti because I followed your trail from the colonel to GRS to up here. So why don't you tell me how you ended up getting freeze-dried? Percival has a thing for me, so he decided not to have me killed. Instead, he put me into stasis to keep me out of the way until after the purification. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is the purification won't start for about 45 minutes. The bad news, the bad is, news is I'm running out of time, so i got to talk really fast. People. Luckily, I've got the winter chip, but you need to tell me how to use it. Well, how did you get it? Wow, he seems Let's very, he seems a little now. annoyed. We have to hurry. You gotta give, she just Take got this. There are instructions taken out of to do with the hyper freeze. When you get into position, wait for my signal. In exactly 30 minutes, I'm going to create a power surge. That will give Ow. us our last chance to stop the cult. Stop that the cult. also has instructions on how to reach the escape pods. I'll wait until the last second, but hurry. And listen, Murphy, good luck. If we get out of here, you can tell me your story. Wow, it sounds like she's been waiting her entire life to get out. say that exposition. <laughs> Well, th wouldn't there be like, where am I? Uh, what's going on? I, I don't, I vaguely remember being. No, she says, who are you? What are you doing here? Freeze dried and I'm stiff and I was just. All right, let's go and Arboretum. There. Oh. This door leads back to the Arboretum and I'd rather not get trapped in there again. My hay fever was. Okay. Hey, music. Cool. They were back. Oh, those 30 minutes are carefully timed to the last exact, to last the exact amount of time it takes you to solve the puzzle. Right. That's where we came from, right? No, oh. this is new. This is new. We got rocks. Yeah. We got plants. We got got an asteroid outer space. <clears throat> Can you look at the asteroid and see what he says about it before you open just, that thing? Yeah. No, that's all right. You just go and open things. That's fine. No, I want to look at the asteroid. <laughs> Those asteroids <clears throat> look like they're following the moon child around like big stone puppies. See, that's important information. Big I'm a stone change puppies. person. Look at the table. And yeah, the table? The, what table? The, the, no, the this benches. Floor. Okay, there's another table. It's a... Wow. Ah, look at that 2D glass. With a straw. It doesn't even mention the straw. Yeah. It's the bonus you get. Okay, so I, I presume know, I we go, use I want, Ava's key. Are there other people we can unfreeze? I was I enjoyed that puzzle. Let's let's see what we can what? do. What is that? A link oh, up. It's an Easter egg. Do. What Easter egg? There was a. It said Links 1986 or something like that. Like another reference to a different uh, game. And I look at it. Can we examine the link up computer? This must be one of the winner chips the Colonel referred to. All right, let's look at Why did he inside. take out the winner chip out of his watch and dispose of the watch? Will you examine the link up computer? Sure. Looks like this computer was made specifically to run with a winner chip. <laughs> so let's put the winner chip in. The Thank you for the Another solution. You say that with, with sarcasm, but I actually I did solutionize it. He, he did solve it. <laughs> Let's save our game now that we've revived Ava. That's good. Call. I was trying. To... We're getting the game made it seem like it's going to take care of us from now on, but it was probably yeah. just that puzzle. Puzzle. So, you know, had they not used that functionality in that puzzle, then I would have thought that since it's a game from 1994, maybe they didn't figure out that that's the right way to do auto save. But now that we've seen that they're capable of doing that, it kind of pisses me off that they didn't What's and that, probably uh, won't from that Look point, at that panel this there. This one? Yeah. This looks like an old-fashioned telephone jack. No. Oh, maybe I Wait, wait. To... What? It's a... yes. what? I just want to hear him like finish his sentence. telephone jack. No. It's a recess button. 
I'll need something to reach in. No, no, that's not the computer. What do we have to reach in? The spoon, uh, the not the spoon, the, the the straw from the glass. Why don't we check the computer in it? Well, that's not no. going to work. No, all right. I'll examine the glass. Yeah, let's examine it. The cocktail glass is worth Aha. it, but I love flex straws. There we go. Let's put now the flex straw is going to work. Boom. Aha. It's two puzzles this I solved in the last the five shot's minutes. He's on fire. I'm on, on fire. Because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay, so now I have access to the computer. Now I'm gonna link this one. Well, that's not gonna work. No. Well, that's not. What's Where the mission it? paper? Can we look at our mission paper? Yeah. Is this new? You are the second agent to get aboard the Moonchild. Agent Loman was able to transmit marginally detailed information before being discovered and terminated. His transmissions provided us with just, and that's all I got. Wait, I can't scroll down because the animation has to end first. Wow. It's rough. Okay, now mm. I can scroll down. Just enough data to formulate a plan of action. Our computers tabulate success failure rate at a ratio of 37 to 63. Get access, access to, to level 18 down. Moonchild. The level contains an arboretum, a main hall, a stasis room, and an observatory. Locate and retrieve the link-up computer. We did that. Agent Loman was able to hide the computer somewhere on level 18 before he was discovered. You'll need one of the Moonchild's own computer cables to attach the link-up computer to the Moonchild main computer. We don't have that. Okay. There's a computer console linked to the Moonchild's main computer hidden somewhere in a wall on this level. We found that. I think. Put the winter ship uh, into the link-up computer. We did that and attached the link-up computer to the computer console. Cannot, cannot predict. predict the effect of the movements of the virus on the Moonshot's computer system, so it is impossible to say how much time you'll have to reach the escape pod. Uh, 30 okay. minutes. So we need to find a cable somewhere in here. Or somewhere else. You think it's in here? Look in the... Or, look in yeah, the... or somewhere else. Wait. Warning. No unauthorized use. Uh -huh. This panel should give me access to the Moonshot's main computer. Hold on, everybody, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay, so let's look at the plants. Maybe there's some something in the plants. On the on the wall there on the ledge. That's where I keep my cables. Well, that's where we saw a key before. Behind the plant. Down low. Too slow. Man, I have a question for you, Paul. Given the fact that you started playing computer games after they had voice added to them i presume that you always wait for the character or for the description to be to be read out loud but for me um i usually when i and when i start reading the text while he's talking if i finish reading it before he's he finished talking then i just skip it yeah, I know. I've, I've been noticing that. I have been noticing that regularly. Look in the pots. Maybe they're in the tree pots. Is there something in there? No, we cannot see anything. Okay. It's not so I think we are got to well, probably got to get out of here. See, see if we can look at them. See if we can... To see if we can move them or something. What a great probably move. Not. We can move them. What a great... Well, well. Uh... Oh, nice job, Spoonie. What's what was underneath that? Nothing. Just move it wherever Nothing. you want. But probably they wanted to show us that this functionality exists, so that we'll move this one, and we'll find. Oh, trap a trap door! door. <sighs> this floor panel looks like it's removable. I'll need something to pry it up with. The straw. Use the straw. Oh, <laughs> pry it open with. Um, I don't know. Screw you, Tex. Okay, should we leave this room? It feels like this room has been giving us a lot of, a lot of stuff. Are we done? All right, let's yeah, let's can we break off off a branch? Now nah, let's go to another room.
I feel like every time we go out into the hallway, we're, we're going to be chased by a by a, a robot eye. Bot. Yeah. <laughs> Need a know. crowbar or something. Look Monk Monk crowbar. says, "Check the plants." We we did. I that was my suggestion, but uh, Mister Mister. Yeah. What Mr. do you call yourself again when you uh, you, you power through? Something? Here's what, a what crowbar. What? <laughs> How convenient. No <laughs> or a pipe. <laughs> a pipe. That's pipe awesome. Do. Was it there the whole time, or does it did it only show up? Um, Who knows? When we got into that room. This is called nice. brute forcing by walk. Brute force. That's the word I was trying to use. I, that's the word I forgot. So I'm brute forcing by walking. You're brute walking. Brute walking. I like this music. It's just like this elevator music. Well, we have we have 30 minutes to save the Earth with elevator music. But it's not trying to stress us out, you know. It's just... yeah. <laughs> okay, use... Should we look at it first? Yeah, sure. The pipe is slim, but it feels pretty solid. Make a nice pry bar. Hmm, what can we use to pry open? Hey, I have an idea. Do what Daniel's doing. Nice. Ozzy Astaroth says lolpipe.jpg. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> we got a computer. Ah, USB cables. Uh, nice. So it's probably a SCSI, a okay. SCSI uh, connection. Did you, did you grab it? Yeah. Yeah, he got it. Didn't dis it didn't disappear from the come on, game. Be more realistic. Well that's not gonna work. Probably you gotta put that in the computer, yeah, you gotta combine it. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Cables in the nineties. So many of them. Thirty minutes. If they didn't find Ava, she should be creating a power surge any second. That'll give me time to patch the mini computer into the Moonchild main computer. Oh boy! Wait, dude, you can see engineering corridors and fast. Oh boy, we got some. There's some budget. Here's where they get to show their budget. Look at that lens flare. It's as if J.J. Abrams directed this scene. I've got a system warning on level 18, section J. I'm attempting to override that. Uh, now I'm showing a temporary system failure. Cloud control is down on levels 4 through 18. Winter sequence engaged. We have one minute and 40 seconds. The whole system's going haywire. Five minutes. Get ready for some epic full motion video. Green screen running. Here we go. The whole system is shutting down and I can't do a damn thing about it. Man, I could have been good in that role. Damn it. Malfunction has initiated the self-destruct sequence. Download the backup system. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go, you're right. You're right. You <laughs> good call. Run, Tex, run! Beauty. That was good. No, it's not at all low budget. This place is gonna go up like a Roman candle on the 4th of July. <laughs> July. Man, I could have been. He has so much time to say these one liners instead of just getting the yeah. hell out of there. I'm so fired. Let's go! Okay, so and I think we... we just beat the game. Did we solve what? anything? You're kidding, where's day seven? Did we solve, did we... What was that, I, I don't know anything. What What did, was that machine, was that big space machine gonna blow up the Earth and we stopped it from blowing up the Earth? Yeah. Yeah, they people? were gonna drop a virus on the Earth. Oh, they were gonna drop the virus, right, right. Okay, let's listen to uh, James. You come like a thief in the night, a 
and one by one dropped the revelers and died each in the despairing posture of his fall and darkness and decay and death held illimitable dominion over all boy ed was uh, edgar must have been a lot of fun at parties oh yeah oh edgar yeah he, <laughs> he was a real joy <laughs> Day seven. I was actually worried. Normally, all the other ones, I was joking around, pretending like it was the end of the game. And this time, I was like, "Oh God, please don't be the end of the game." Yeah. <laughs> hey, survived. It's Brian I Keith. Did some good work, Tex. I guess you didn't forget everything I taught you. He had a knife planted in his chest. He survived. <laughs> I don't know. The saving the world business doesn't pay so well. My cousin Vinny says he can cut me in on some Amway action. That's <laughs> a lot of hooey. You got it in your blood text, you'd gum chew for pocket change. Yeah. Hey, pocket change would be a step up for me. Well, you know, I've done pretty well over the past few years. Put a few greenbacks away. But I'm not so young as I used to be. Maybe we could work out an arrangement, huh? I'll be the brains, you be the legs. A lot of work out there for somebody with your skills. I say, partners? Hmm. Link. Hmm. Yeah. Ava. Yeah, I was hoping I'd see you around. Oh, hi, Tex. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Long time no see. You look good as ever. What have you been up to? I gotta be checking his own. <laughs> Say, uh, tell me, have you still got that Twister game? I do. Twisty Twisty game. Twisters, 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 <laughs> copyright. In a long time. Ding. Listen, Tech, something's popped up. I think I found a partner to do under. Ew. Covers. I'll see you around. So here I am, back where I started. Lonely, broke, and late for an appointment back in my office. Okay, so maybe it's not a perfect world. Maybe there are more glamorous ways to spend Saturday night than teaching cha-cha lessons to lonely women like Dolores Lightbody. At least she's a regular client and it seems to make her happy. And she always pays me up front in cash. Now that I think about it, things are better. I cleared up my bar tab with Louie and I did solve the pawn shop burglary for Rook. Yeah, once word gets around, I'll be up to my neck in good paying jobs. Uh, looks like Murphy pulled it off, sir. Yes, but next time, he may not be so fortunate. Next time, sir? The forces of darkness sleep, but do not die. George Even Bailey now, has the heart of a child. I sense evil stirring. An evil about to re-enter the life of our friend Murphy. Tex, honey. Long time no see. Ding. Forgive me? Is that the wife? Well, well, well. Designed by Aaron Connors and Chris Jones. Let's talk to we Bruce did it. Warren. We did it. Kick this game's butt. Come on, Margo. Oh, we got outtakes. Tex Murphy. Ah, well, we're going to make your trip as comfortable as possible. Nighty night. So. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, to me. Yeah, the only problem was you don't shoot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Chris Jones didn't write this. This was Aaron Connors' work as the writer in question we got another one we got here tomorrow night oh god the longest death scene you will die <laughs> why aren't they yelling cut 
Wow, ah, Chris Jones did the, the, the documentation as well. Perfect. One more time. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> James Earl Jones is the great PI of the universe. I, I can never understand that logic in directing. Perfect. That's the best I've ever seen. Let's do it one more time. Hey, it's Chris Jones. Awesome. Look at that, I'm cranking up the music here. Zero A1, take one, action. I did some good work, Tex. I guess you didn't forget everything I taught you. Maybe it's not too late I can make a real detective out of you. <laughs> All by himself. Yeah, Tex yeah, nice. Yeah, that's terrible shit. <laughs> All right, 1994. It's a good year. Well, dudes, well done. Kaboom, high five, well done. Okay. What do we <laughs> do now? We, we, Daniel was all convinced this is going to take forever. It took us 45 minutes. Yeah. And even then, we were taking our time. Um, so, so we are, are like here. i said we've yeah, got all time. sorts of tex murphy games to play there's there's more than one um yeah i think little... i'm gonna want to i don't know if I, we could get into one right now just to just to play i don't know if i want to start one to finish it. I'd, I'd like to kind of get into a different series of of games uh sure after this so if for the rest of today we want to do something just as a bit of a one-off and then we decide what what our next actual game is i think that's sort of more along the line so uh, okay so i have pat pat goes to the moon pat pat travels through time police quest swat which probably you know for one off police quest swat is so boring you can play it just swat once. is really really boring i know i warn you <laughs> we all have... of it's new to me i know none of it i don't know what a putt putt game it, is a lot of it is just it. watching a lot of it is just watching instructional videos on actual swat police technique uh, okay no i don't want to do that so let's it's do it. very very dry what are the i don't know anything about the putt putt games I, i'm thinking when i hear putt putt i'm thinking like miniature golf no but that's it, not what it is it, it's a friendly car it's a friendly car like it's a kid game uh we had talked about I mean, we'd have to actually download it and get it all set up. We had talked about like a one of the Jackbox games or something, was sort of something fun where we're kind of competing against each other or competing against the game would be kind of fun. I was, I was going to say, which Jackbox do you have? Because I can tell you what we can play. Well, the one that I have is, uh, I don't have, the only one I have is uh, Xbox. So I'd have to purchase it or I'd have Daniel purchase it. and, and uh, I get don't it have any computer. Jackbox. Tell me which. Because oh. I have it, but you can't stream from my computer. Uh, right. Wait, where's where's Steam? I'll confuse my Steam. <laughs> okay, so which one do you have? I have them uh, all. People are people are talking about uh enjoying the putt putt game. So I don't know, maybe uh we if you have that ready to go, Daniel, we could. Yeah, let's just let's see. just uh, fire a putt putt. See what that's. But about. I, I like the Jackbox it. idea because I think uh, one of the things that we talked a little bit about prior to the stream starting is that a it would be fun to play against each other in a fun way, but also those games allow more than you can have up to eight or ten players. So it would be fun to like do a Wheel of Curtis, invite some of the folks in the chat to join us for a, a round, and then we can kind of. So I think it could be a fun way. We should definitely do that in the Zen near brings future. up a Zen brings up a good one. Um, Black Dahlia. Do you have Black Dahlia? The problem with Black Dahlia is you need to run it through a virtual machine. So yeah, and it's no very problem. very buggy too. I remember pl trying to play Black Dahlia, and if you don't play it exactly, and I mean exactly the way the walkthrough tells you to, uh, at first, 
you can soft lock yourself out of like two hours of progress. So it's very, very tricky to, to play Black Dahlia. I'm with you on that one, but uh, it's you've, the, you, it, the fun the first... thing. The fun thing about the fact that we're playing Putt Putt is that we're using Scum VM. And so I can give Noah control. Finally. Oh, boy. Ooh, fun. Notice how he says Noah. He goes immediately to Noah. There's, there's no, not even a thought about getting me in control. Mm. Okay. Bunch of middle-aged dudes playing on <laughs> person's game. Pep, Pep. I promised Mr. Firebird we'd come over this morning so I could oh show my, my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. <laughs> You only guess... left because I bribe you with food. So, yeah. How do we go from being? What? Yeah. What being does a the... car need to eat? Fuel. So that, in a lunchbox. And how does a car use a catcher's mitt when he doesn't have hands? You remember, Paul? Do you remember in our conversation with? Um... Ron Gilbert, I asked him if he named his dog Spiffy after the dog from Monkey Island 1, and he said that he named his dog Pep after the dog from Putt Putt. So here's Pep. Mm. You've got him in in your inventory. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to last very long with this. Uh, I don't know if playing... This sounds like a really great game for kids or people who played this game as kids, but I don't think this looks... I mean, let's you see know, what the some of the puzzles are. You know what? Are, but... You should be in control, Paul. Let's see if you can solve any of the puzzles in this <laughs> game. <laughs> it's not even... The, listen, I can't solve... I, I solve very few puzzles in any games. It's not about my ability. It's about my... my uh, attention uh, span. My attention span or my uh, ability to... Uh, to yeah, my, my tolerance. You know what? Solve the first puzzle. If you solve it in the next 10 minutes, we'll <laughs> play a different game. Fair enough. All right. What, what, or is he waiting for us to solve a puzzle? Have we tried right. um? Have we tried Toonstruck? We did. And we I... I we, Tori and I played a little bit of it. It's a... That's, we can go back. We, we probably have that save too, don't we? I know we have that save from where we were before. And no, because we played it on your computer, if you remember. It was yeah, those days. Crap. It was the dark yeah, ages of streaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I didn't mean to change play... things around. I thought we were uh, okay. So I'm sorry. I just I just derailed the entire plan here. No, gosh, no, not at all. Uh, oh, someone did we ever finish Seventh Guest? No. Why don't we go back to one of the games that we never finished? Let's see. Oh my gosh, you got a lot of games. Okay. Uh... I have a lot of versions of games. Oh, wait, I have the emulator as well. Let me, Let me run that one. Okay. Let's see what I have on Dream. I presume it will be better. Let me just share it with you guys. Share this. Close this. Share with everyone. Share with the classroom. Okay, so this is my dream folder. Let's see what we can play. So we have wow, Afterlife, cool. Curse of Monkey Island, Dark Forces, The Dig. Escape we never finished Mon The Dig. We can play some more Dig. No, we're going to start that... over if we're ever going we to play Dig. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Escape from Monkey Island, Indiana Jones and his desktop adventures, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, which we're already playing, Infernal Machine, 
a Jedi Knight, Mysteries of the Sith, Loom, Master Blazer, Mortimer, and the Riddles of the Medallion, Outlaws, Pipe Dream, Rebel Assault 2, Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe, Yoda Stories. What do you think? No, any of those uh, look fun to you? I, I let's go back to putt putt. I'm, I'm, I'm. Now that you're dreading it, I'm morbidly curious. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. I'm outnumbered. Okay, that's putt putt. Okay. I'll play it. I'll, 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 I'll control things here. Let's uh, see if I can figure out the children's game. Hmm. I mean, if Paul would have played, then it would have been more of a two, three live stream kind of deal. But if you're going to play no it, way. we're going to finish it today. I would be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It goes to the moon. Okay. This is over here. But, but goes to the moon. <laughs> Should we skip the intro? Hep, hep. Yeah. I promised Mr. Fire. Okay. There you okay. go. There's something on the desk uh, that you I can can't grab. control it. Really? Oh, I have what? to. I have to go to. The, I have to go to your screen. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Change. Oh, right, right. I would pick up that quarter first. That's the first thing I would do. And then I'd look at my inventory. And then. There, I got it. I got it. There you go. That's my. That's my history report. On that's what? That's my doggy. <laughs> That's my calculator. That's my This must have been so much fun box. when you were six. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. So, so that's the thing. The the first Putt Putt games came out the same time as Day of the Tentacle, and I was too old to play Putt Putt. So I didn't experience the Putt Putt games back when I was a kid. I'm experiencing them. You... I'm experiencing them right now because my kids are playing them. Are they loving them? That's my mm -hmm. nickel. Yeah, I'll bet. I missed out Your on this nickel. with my kids and their time there. Oh, nice. Can you pick that up, put it in your inventory? No, apparently not. I can get it off of there. That's my dad's catcher's mitt. He left to buy cigarettes and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick up anything in the... What was that? I won't explain that, people. That speaks for itself. <gasps> uh -huh. Okay. I wonder if another ball comes out of my plate again. Yep. Nice. Wait, let me turn down the music. So the interesting, the interesting thing about uh, Putt Putt games and games by Humongous Entertainment <laughs> is the fact that they're all working using the Scum Engine. Come on, Marine, Let's Marine Dalek writes in quotes. Gee whiz, looks like I'm tied up in a BDSM dungeon. Mm. More kid-friendly Fantas Two narration. Gee, hi, Therese. Well, why am I, why am I swinging here and? Uh, from the ceiling. Okay, so the cow has nothing to say. Here we are, Pep. It's Mr. Firebird's workshop. It's Mr. Firebird's lab. <coughs> well, take the thing off. <coughs> All right, be like that. <laughs> The 
interesting part is that since it's a kid's game, the expectation is that everything you click on will be interactive in a way. Apparently. There's a gopher that sticks his head out, plays a tuning fork. Sometimes. Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. See, I think this game would be so much better if it Hi, got really Mr. dark. Firebird. Welcome, Buttfoot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow. Oh. A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set. Only what you're Sounds seeing like John is C. Riley. real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! We need five and cents, then I though. can show you my history report and my new school supplies. Uh, usually it works. Oh, hell, you what broke was it. I think I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I we think have I've got one. something that will solve the problem. Wait, don't you want to let us figure it out? My dog. <laughs> what happened to all of our other stuff? He took it out to show the Mr. Firebird. Uh, give him the five cents, Spoony. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. It's my lucky coin, so don't ah, lose it. This is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy gas can! This shouldn't be happening! We've created a rift in the space time continuum! Uh-oh. Let's do some time travel, everyone. Hep, no! <laughs> this is not good at all, Putt-Putt. My calculations show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal. Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. Let's go. I'm sure you don't need supervision of any kind, so have fun traveling through time. <laughs> <laughs> you be careful, Putt Putt, and good luck! Wow. Thank you, YT Wanderer. It's and like dance. a science fiction movie, except YT Wanderer I have tip a twenty dollars, twenty bucks. Tex Murphy completion These must bonus. Be the four places now where Pep let's and chill and experience Noah's landed. travels I through time. I wonder where I should Paul's go first. Paul's excitement is palpable. Long. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Thank you, YT Wanderer, for helping. Paul this excited that, since, that, since I suggested to play Phantasmagoria two again. Uh, oh boy. Those days. Well, we can pick anyone we want, so let's go to the left one. You like the left. You trust your left. Whoa! This must be the age of the dinosaurs. I have nothing else to say about that. Welcome to Dino Radio, all oldies, all time. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Hey, would you mind moving your fat ass? <laughs> it's Denver. <laughs> I thought that would actually work. That, I thought so too. Well, 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 well done. Zowie. Poke him in the eye. It's a real live Brachiosaurus. <sighs> Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt Putt, 
and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Oof. Thanks. Now get out of here. That was high stakes puzzle solving right there. <laughs> man, oh man. I was a little nervous. Thanks a lot, Ms. V. All right, let's now go I'm down off that road. Age of the let's dinosaurs. See what adventures await us. I hope all the dinosaurs I meet are just as friendly as this one. Ugh. How are we going to get past that tar? Ugh. What we got here is your basic mess. Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes. But first, people, you gotta tell me what people the heck joining our stream I at this point are very, very confused. Like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the but future. You're more confused Whoa, than me. Imagine that. I'm Will. Glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rock? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. <laughs> I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. How about we just knock it the hell over? Full speed ahead! <laughs> that was, that was it! Work. Nice work. Hot oh man. No, it is good. Sure know how to I love the fact that, 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 that Paul well, does know how good. I love the fact that Paul is unwillingly along for the ride, just Looks like, like I was when we played King's Quest 1. To finish the job. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Great! Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic pentagon. The best pentagon. part is just seeing how, how Noah pentagon. navigates these very bridge. difficult terrain of these games, just to see your your skill set. It's it's I marvel. Oh, you're going Gee. back. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I changed my mind. Never mind. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Let's pick it up. So, uh, explain to me, explain to me why people wanted me to see, wanted me to play this game. Like, this was like highly recommended. You know, they were like, we got to see Putt Putt. What was this during our Putt -Putt? chat, or is this in general in some yeah. time in your life earlier? I what mean, is it about Putt Putt I mean, that is so fascinating? People, Will, look, guess at, what? look at this I puzzle. Rock, and I think it will watching you solve this is like well, watching what art. Do you know. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. I, I wasn't even thinking Excellent. that part. Fantastic. Oh, that's good. Thanks a wow. gazillion. Just... Well, I'm homeward bound. Come visit any old time you like. Ignore the screams of the tortured and dying animals in the tar pit. <laughs> I mean, this is a really great, Hello, cute Hello game to you for too, Will. people that are smaller than us. You mean kids? Yeah, if, I'm a, if I was a kid, I'm certain I would be totally challenged by this. Oh, for sure. So, Putt, what's a car from the future like you doing in a past like this? I'm looking for some things <laughs> I lost. My history report, my lunch. Finish box, up doing my, my taxes here, you guys. And my uh... dog Pep. You've lost <laughs> me too, but I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, you know what this reminds me of? soup what? made it myself? Of no, you don't sure, have kids, so you'll have to great. just uh, think of this as a. Go this reminds me uh, like house. these. This reminds me of nap time mm. for me. This was a time when I was so sleep deprived because my kids, oh, you know, would, would not sleep normal hours that we'd put on, you know, the TV and they'd watch some cartoons and I'd sit next to them on the couch. And I, this was my chance to sort of get a little sleep. And so you just heard 
cartoon voices in the back of your brain because you're trying to get some sleep. So when, I, when I'm listening to them talk to each other, again, it's really good. And it's a perfect little thing for it. But it just makes me want to take a nap. That's why you resent I'm trying to find so ways much. to get killed. I'm trying to find ways like in old Sierra games to get killed. Yeah, is there any way that we can uh, put ourselves in Drive danger? in the tar. Oh, here we go. This could be tough. Mm -hmm. Be great if he eats the lizard first. We can always play ping pong. Hello, this is Triceratops. By the way, everyone. I don't think that Triceratops. Guess who has the top score amongst our group of Adams family? This guy. Oh yeah. I got you. Got you beat by what? Two that million guy, points grin. or something? Yeah, but it was, on a good day, it was due to my pep talk. You want yes, to oh good, yes. It was your reason. Thank you, Daniel, for my getting the top score. By the way, let me introduce myself. My name's Compy, short for Compagnathus. As you may have guessed, that's my buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt Putt. <laughs> I just mm -hmm. don't get it. <laughs> you want to switch games, Noah? Wait, yeah, I found a magic I shroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let's get out of here. This, this is, this is okay. Sweet and lovely, and needs to be over now. We should have okay. thought ahead, dudes. We should have had this something lined up. Let's play King's Quest One. Just kidding. The original one. At least no, we can die in that one. What What's your favorite text parser adventure game? My favorite text parser adventure game? Um, Suspended. Really? Yeah. Okay. Very well. We don't have that one. <laughs> what's your second favorite? <laughs> Zork? <laughs> what's your third favorite? Zork. Return to Zork. Return to Zork is an FMV game. It is. Is. Now, uh, what, what should we play? Osmos? Have you ever played Osmos? No, I haven't played that one. Okay. Okay. So I wish oh, I had. I wish I. It, I wish I could contribute. I don't know any. I don't know any of these games. I just, you know, you know me. I got a limited gaming yeah, vocabulary. But we tried to get you hooked on Pot Pot. Yeah, we and tried that. They well, I appreciate the effort. You I should. don't know why you tried to get me hooked on Putt Putt. What, what, that, I'm not sure what that tells me about all y'all. Well, we gave it a fair try. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, Hitchhiker's Guide game. Marie and Dalek says, do you have the Hitchhiker's Guide game? Oh, you know what, Daniel? You know what we played what? once that was kind of fun with... Um, it was, a, it was a game that you had Tori and I play because we had finished um, we had finished that cool sort of oh, oh, I know puzzle agent to, game. Uh... It was a puzzle agent game. And then afterwards we had to sort of, it was just a series of, you know. Yeah. Now I need to remember it, how it's called. It was cool. It was kind of fun. And it was just a great, it was, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Douglas okay. Adams wrote an adventure game, Starship Titanic. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Oh, man. What's that game called? Wait, I'll have to look it up. You have to look up the game that you played with us before? Thomas was alone? That Thomas. game I've been playing, which is I super fun, and I'm really liking that. Have you played that before, Noah? Yeah, I've I played it. Yeah. Okay, so now, uh, now it's going to be the the weird part, just like with with Spaceballs, when they try to watch the VHS tape of Spaceballs while being in Spaceballs. So the same thing, I'm going to watch our puzzle agent live stream in order to find... So you can remember which, the game that you've, yeah. you... Exactly. Puzzle agent, puzzle agent, puzzle agent two, three... Four. 
Okay, here we are. And then we talked and then welcome employees, mailroom, just a second. <laughs> we have all these people watching right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my God. And you even have us, this is even worse. Shoot, okay, you even I have us it. in the three of us talking mode. You have us I looking think we at really a should... big blank space of no game. I honestly mm. think we really should play Pandora Directive just to start it off. I mean... I don't know if okay. we have it though. I don't know if we uh, we own. I don't know if we have it in our. Okay. Oh, well, that would that would be a problem. Did you figure it out? Here we game. Okay, let's see. Let's see if you have control. Wait, we can't see. Yeah, yeah I can't see it. it. Ooh, Sounds like music to go mad to. Yeah. Oh, I played this. Okay. Uh, this, this is. I've never liking this. Okay, this is what we're doing. I don't remember if. Oh, so there aren't any settings, so I need to do it from the volume panel. Just a second. Employee one, 11 years. Employee two, one years. What does that mean? Is that how long you've been there? It's how it's how many levels you finished. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so now you have good. control. Oh, let's, do a new, works. let's do a new employee. There we go. This is essentially a programming game. Exactly. Yeah. All right, here we go. Employee three. Oh, we're starting in the mailroom. I love it. Let's go. Wait, give me control for a sec. I think I, I need to okay. change the layout because people can see what's happening on the right side of the screen. Okay. Can't they? There we go. Okay, now. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Job Your first job will appear over there on the right side in the moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Inbox out box. Actually, now I can't, now I can't see that. into this uh, area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it in the outbox. Drag commands into this area. Okay, so inbox to the outbox. Hang on, I gotta minimize something. Okay. You run your program. So this is very simple. Yeah. I, I imagine this is just. It uh, starts off simple. In the outbox manager expected a total of three items, not one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it wants me to loop it. Okay, I thought I automatically would loop. Um... Step back and debug. There we go. How do I loop it then? I gotta. Oh, there it is. Run your program whenever you're ready. Oh, I see. Inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox. No play. Brilliant! Your presence is requested on the next words. Go to the elevator. Oh, we're going to a busy mail room. Well, it looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion to the busy mail room. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you have a bright future in the out inbox outbox management. Here's your new assignment. Grab each thing Grab each from the uh, inbox and drop each one into the outbox. You got a new command. You can drag jumps arrow to jump to different lines within your program. With this new ability, you can complete this assignment using only three total commands. Inbox, this is where outbox, the loop is. Jump. 
Yep. There you go. So it goes in back out of box and then yep, and it starts over again. Box. Slide to walk faster. Boom. Next floor. Oh no! The inbox conveyor system is completely broken. That doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. Ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. Bug. The facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there was a way you could pick them up. So you got the B-U-G, something on the carpet, 99 cents. What? In the box for now. And just send the following three letters to the outbox. Copy from... There you go. Copy from four. Copy from zero. Copy from... Three. That should be it. Yeah, but the truth, oh. you're not sending it out. You should send it out. Copy from... Oh, to the outbox. Okay, okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, for four. I'm going to read some some chats. I'll go back a little bit. Yeah, I should try to solve one of these too, since you Conveyor guys are good stuff like this. Steven Sondheim was going to, he considered leaving the theater to make computer games. That's almost hard to believe. Elijah Wood is also a big point in click fan. The outbox and reverse, in the reverse order, repeat until the inbox is empty. Wow. Grab the first. Okay. Interlay says, congrats on finishing under a killing moon. Wasted most Inbox. of the vacation as a kid getting through Copy it on our 486. Two. Awesome to see you guys finish it. Thanks, man. Inbox, copy two. One. Yeah, we'll probably get to Pandora. I just don't know if we're going to do it next. Maybe Actually, we will. we don't even need to do that. We only need one. We only need What's up, Mexico? French Connection. Greetings from Mexico on Benito Juarez Day, says French Connection. Hero okay. U was horribly underrated. Mon Dieu. Mon Dieu. 500 peso Mexican president. Speed it up. All right. Scrambler handler. No, you're kicking butt. No, it's not even getting to the hard part yet. <laughs> no, really. To work, everyone. Was it what? That was an important story scene. Oh, here we go. Regions of the city continue to experience power failure. Local authorities are investigating. You have to go either way, right? Oh no, rainy summer. Year six. 
Ugh. Ugh. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers on each hand. But I hear you don't actually know very much about math to complete these assignments. Reach two things in the inbox, add them together, and put the result in the outbox. You got a new command. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. So you're going to do inbox. Eldon the Frank asks, hey, Paul, you going to grow a beard? Where's your beard, Paul? We used to be the Where's beard my... gang. What's that? The three of us used to have beards, and then you opted out. Yeah, I, 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 what I'll do is I'll just let it go until it gets annoying, and then I just, I don't even shave it, but I just use the clippers and get rid of it, and then it comes back. But I don't, like, I haven't grown a beard since it's been over a year since I actually had a beard. Clippers? My beard's like imagine it's as simple as totally this. white. Yep. Nice work. I don't think I get this this system. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Pay attention. So talk talk me through what you're doing here. I've really been okay. It. All right. So, we'll let you solve this one. Well, before you solve it, I don't even really know the. I don't know what the things are on the right. So where do you see yourself in five years? Um, or ten, ten years. years. I have a note here from your other brother. It says from this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. So send, send all the okay. things. Okay. Yeah. Box. Okay. Is there not zero on? So, so, so I want to just uh, skip, get my head around. Send all things that are not zero to the outbox. Okay. You got a new command. It only jumps. It jumps only to the if the value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next. So okay. So you want to start with the inbox, right? So that's what. That's all the stuff in the inbox. Now, and if we're it's trying zero, to. We're going to discard it. And you're gonna jump, so zero. Otherwise, we send it to the outbox. Outbox. And you're gonna jump. And that's it. That should be it. Oh, I, I, wait, wait, wait. I'm so confused. Cool music. We're taking something from the outbox. If it's zero, we discard it. So we're just gonna go right back to the inbox. Right. It wants you to. It jumps only if the value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, so everything that isn't zero is what you got to bring over there, right? Right. Yeah. And then what's the? Why is there an A? Does it matter? If it, it doesn't matter as long as it's not a zero. It doesn't matter as long as it's not zero. Okay. I love the fact that in the past hour we just played something that Paul considers too easy. And now we're playing something with Paul Consistency. Yeah, let's go back to putt putt for God's <laughs> sake. But I will say it's impressive watching how quickly uh, uh, Spoonie gets through this stuff. You, you, your brain works this way. See, yeah, where this it is. Gets, it's like, it's like where this gets tricky right? is there's challenges. You have to complete them in a certain number of steps mm -hmm. to, to get all the lights to appear on the various um, floors. And so where this gets really hard is trying to complete those challenges. Uh, even I can't do that. Yes, because I've played some of this. I've played about a quarter of the game. Um, but I haven't gotten past a certain point because it gets really hard. Gotcha. Not that I can't do it, I just got frustrated. <laughs> we'll be able to get through this together. Send only this the zeros. Send only to zeros. <laughs> okay, so, so it doesn't matter what we do with the things that aren't zero. Okay. You guys, I appreciate your. Uh... 
<laughs> People are sticking with us, which is which is kind. Very kind. No, this isn't boring. Why shouldn't they stick around? Hmm. It's not because it's boring. vastly different from Under a Killing Moon. Very Django Reinhardt like music. Then you need another, another jump. Yep. So inbox if zero. Yeah. Lots of jumps. Dang, you're on fire. See, right there. There's a way to do this in fewer steps, and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, you did it in 28, and you could have done it in 25. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, you want to retry this? No. <laughs> this is where I got frustrated, was trying to optimize the various programs. And I looked up a solution for that one in particular, and it makes no sense. I don't know how it's, it, it works, but I don't know how it works, and that frustrates me. Subtraction? I never learned that in school. Did you? We're a good team. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk uh, FMV games. So what? What? What are some? I know there's a billion, zillion out there, uh -huh. and there's been many, many suggestions on our Discord, but. Three of us are going to play another FMV, and I know that Noah, you're you're, you're kind of pushing for uh, more Tex Murphy, which is a potential. But what else? What else is our? Uh, I'm going to look at our. Somebody mentioned Return to Zork, which is mm -hmm. uh, which is an option. That one's very difficult, but it's doable. Um, the Journeyman Project. Oh wow, that one's going back. That one's an old game. Good luck getting that one to work. Uh, if you've never tried Toonstruck, I, you said you've tried it, but um, if you've yeah, never I would played be that more open to it again. I think that would be... Uh, Tori and I had some fun. Oh. Marina Dalek tipped $20, making my oh. wish for the Pandora Directive official with this tip. Tex Murphy Burnout be down. <laughs> yes, Marine Medallic is definitely a fan. I've been watching your 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 uh, your, uh, your posts, and also you helped us quite a bit during uh, during our our uh, under a killing. But thank you for that very kind tip, and we will we will consider. So, what under else? a directive, Joseph Austin says the journeyman. Project 3 works great on GOG and is fun. We can I'm always listening. play play the seventh guest. We can do that. The there's also the um there's also the thirteenth doll. Yeah. Which is a sequel we, to the seventh guest. Um no, it's a sequel to the eleventh hour. It's a fan sequel. Or that. Yeah. So that one's doable. Yeah, actually, the the thirteenth doll we talked about is because it, given that it's a fan sequel, it it turns the cheese volume to eleven. So that one's something we can do. Wait, you played the thirteenth doll on stream, right? Yeah, I did. But there's two paths you can take. There's uh, there's you can. There's there's two main storylines of the thirteenth doll. I played one of them, but you can do the other one easily. So I just remember that it was the first time I, I knew I knew of the game, but uh, the first time I saw the gameplay was in one of your live streams. Yeah, I, I only play, really played half of it. Yeah, I remember there was a really 
tedious puzzle that took quite a while. I don't know if it was with strings or with... It was with music. I remember that yeah. it had to do with like a piano that I yeah. really got frustrated with just because I'm not good with music puzzles. Zenzolf just says wing commander, although I don't know how easy it is to get working. Interlay says there's a nice Ventura point and click adventure game. I really like that one. I played it as a kid. It was really fun. Alien Odyssey. Oh, subtract the second from the first. Oh, crap. Until dawn. <laughs> so just Hades copy challenges. them. First, subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox. I don't know. If Ozzy just wrote killing time with a question mark. Is that the name of a game or is he asking what we're doing right now? That's a good Two question. hours of solitaire. We could, <laughs> we could play another game of Scrabble. First, subscribe. Yeah, let's do Scrabble. <laughs> you want to do Scrabble? Let's do Scrabble. Yeah, let's do a little Scrabble. Way we can all be involved in some way. Okay. Wait, I need to share something else. Here we are. All right. We are definitely going to purchase a Jackbox game series, and then we'll have that ready to go in the future. Anytime we finish a game early, we'll just dive right into some Jackbox. Although I think we should do a full Jackbox stream. I think that would be a lot of fun. And we'll we'll yeah. schedule that sometime soon. Scrabble. And uh, what was the other one that I thought would be fun? We definitely got to do another pinball, Daniel, now that we've, it's been a while. I want to see you. Uh, I want to see you in action. Even though I got lucky and had got a one good high score, I, I, I feel like I lucked into it. I, I think you are actually have figured out some skills, and I'd like to see you. Okay. No, you know, we did. I tell you about our our fixation on the Adams Family pinball game that came out. Mm, I've I've gathered that you've been playing it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And... So they. Oh, here we go. Use the okay. link. N not Paul. No, I use the link. Not me? Sent okay. you. Not you. Why not me? Oh, yeah, because we can't play each play other, right? You'll be playing from my computer. Okay? So you'll be playing oh, okay. K Snow. Okay. So now let me just cover these. Can I continue Hello. as a guest? What is Night Trap? Yeah, you can continue as, the, as a guest. Okay, there we go. Receive, accept. Now. Okay. Oh, is this me? All right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hit the screen. Okay. And. Wait, which one am I looking at? Am I looking at Noah's or uh, what? what's down below here? Okay. Am I starting? So, no, you're playing from your computer. It's your turn. Paul, you're playing for my computer and you have control. Oh, so it is my turn. Okay. I have control. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Let's see. Uh, Do you have control? Maybe you don't. Sorry. Just a sec. Now you have control. Do you have right, control? Okay, there we go. It looks like it. Uh, I thought that was a D. Why can't I read? I don't know. Can you move the mouse, Paul? Uh, I'm trying. Uh, Can you? Do you see anything? No. Place no. the mouse cursor on the shared screen, not on my screen. 
Oh, oh, you know what? You're right. I'm doing the, you got it. Okay. Yep. 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 I see. Okay. There we go. Did you go? Opera. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'll read the chat in the meantime. Marine Dalek says, call yourself an FMV gaming channel. Actually, we never called ourselves that. Paul <laughs> tried to avoid FMV games for some reason. Not to be typecast as the FMV person. Now I'm now I'm embracing it. Yeah. Uh okay, let's try this. Oops, that doesn't work. Come on, move. Uh, yeah. Hey Paul, what should uh, we do for the three year anniversary of conversations with Curtis? It's coming up in early April. Let's, pull, let's, let's play Fantasy Gore too. Yeah, let's play Fantasy Gore too. Um Oh my goodness. This is I, I've got such crappy letters here. Uh it's A R word. Let's see, maybe it is. Uh Uh, this work is probably not a word. Let's see. Is it? Nope. <laughs> None uh, of the words were valid. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, shoot. Uh, okay. How about this? Look, the guy used that W there. Not there, but there. And then we're going to go. Um, oh, here we go. This will be good. No, Linda Frank so. says, Hey, Daniel, here's a list of FMK games Snow Job, Firehead, Congo, and Night Trap. Oh, Congo. I wanted to play that one. I really like the movie, even though people think it sucked. Maybe it sucks, but I remember your liking turn, it back in the day. <clears throat> uh, hmm. Ozzy, I'm thinking of doing a 12-hour stream in which I'll play Gabriel Knight 1, then Gabriel Knight 2, then the Gabriel Knight 3. And I'll probably die at the end of the stream. Uh, I can't do that. Okay. Hmm. Uh... <laughs> All right, I don't know what to do unless you unless you do it. Nelson Miguel says, as much as I love Phantasm Girl 2 and I do, please no more. <laughs> Thank you, Nelson. And Ozzy Astroth says, I Ooh, know you. Oh, nice. That's a that's a word. Boston. I tried it. I'd usually, usually proper nouns aren't words, but I just thought I'd try it. Dang, nice. Let me look for a definition. Boston is a card game resembling solo whist or a variation of the waltz or the two step. Yeah, but still the name of stuff. Not an actual adjective or noun. Oh my gosh. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six vowels. I guess I need to do some swapping. Ozzy Astroth asks, I know you've been avoiding it. What about Marcus Reader? Maybe I should block the the lead actor he's following me on twitter i should block him on twitter so he won't see the that we're streaming it and then we'll actually play the game and give our honest opinion about the game uh oh i know one um is, is he like proud of it and thinks it's really great or something no it's really really cheesy i mean like 
Well, does he realize it's cheesy? I know how cheesy Fantas 2 is. Yeah, hey, I know how cheesy great. Phantasmagoria 2 is, but I presume that you wouldn't like to watch a live stream where people just mock the entire thing. I don't know. I had fun mocking Fantas 2. Yeah, if you're if you have a, anybody who's a lead in a FMV game has to has to get over themselves. Uh, all right, I think I have to. I am. I'm so over myself. I've been over. Can't be any more over. I'd be under myself if I was any more over. Um. Hmm. I think I have to. I think I got to swap. I got so many crappy. Hey, yeah, you got a lot of valves, man. <laughs> yeah, I do. One, two, three, four. Let's do that. Swap and pass. Swap and pass. Marine Dalek says, oh, now, if Paul did, did like an entire live stream of mocking, he wouldn't play with Daniel. That's true. Yup. Oh, oh but... man, you're kicking butt, dude. All right. Now you're going down. Now I got some stuff. <laughs> okay, I see Snowchub. Snowchub for the 3DO. Jeez. Now let's go down here. Yep, it sure looks like an FMV game from the 90s. What are you talking about? Snow job. Boom, oh, it's going to be huge. 17 points. Not bad. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should play Marcus Twitter with Spoony. It's short enough not to take up, you know, multiple live streams. And we'll be able to mark it for a live stream or two. I don't know anything about it, but... It's best not to know anything about it before playing it. Good. And we're going to... You can tell your friend, but just say, "Look, we're gonna be, uh, you know, we're gonna have fun with the game." And oh, we're I not know one. we're I know, not know, mean spirited or anything like that. But we're gonna we're not mean spirited. We're just mean. Yeah, I know a good we're, one. We're, we're not even mean. We're just we just like to have fun. Are you done? Is it my turn? Did it no, not like that up. word? It doesn't no. look like your well, yeah. It's silly your turn. Oh no. Boink is a word. Boink. B O I N K, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boink. You can do bonk. Oh, but you didn't get the W, you won't get the double letter. That's right. I protest. Boink. <laughs> Ozzy Astaroth says being honest isn't the same as being mean. Mind blown. Wow. The one you buy is full full length and way higher production value. Yeah, but I want less production value for my FMV games. There you go. This one's this one's for Therese. What was it? Darm and arm. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, neck and neck here. Look at this. 70 to 70. Uh, Let's 
I want to ask the people in the chat, what would you consider as conversations with Curtis jumping the shark? What needs to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like you don't need to, you can just go back to like 2022. What needs to happen for you to think that conversations with Chris jump the shark? Um, More Scrabble. Scrabble and putt-putt. See, I have a great word, but it won't fit. Ah. And is there anybody out there who doesn't know where the what the reference jump the shark is from who doesn't know what that is you probably know what it means but you know well, given our demographic from. i presume that most people know do know probably oh yeah i know from happy days mm -hmm. oh, yeah Maybe you should actually jump a shark. Exactly. Are, are we waiting on you or waiting on me? What's going on here? It's on me. Okay. Yeah, that's not right. We'll just start playing Elden Ring or something. Like for 60 streams. Ritual? Dang, you're... It's, it's not worth ones. any points, though. Oh, that was worth eight points. Mm, that's true. Yeah, that's that's not good. All right. Do I have anything here? No, R E, I know is a word. And this is a word. And then this is. Paul becomes the most dedicated World of Warcraft player ever. That would be conversations with Chris jumping the shark. There you go. <laughs> Daniel attempts to get every romance scene in Baldur's Gate 3. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's the best I got. It pulled ahead. I'm ahead now. Yeah. By four points. By four whopping points. Oh, what was that? Z oh, you got the Z. But you couldn't use it to its full advantage. Nope. Okay. Um, Well, I can do that, but that's not really it's not enough to. Um, oh, I know. Never mind. Let's go back. Let's do this. That's good. Mm. Well, the next person who gets an S is going to be in good shape here. That's pretty good, though. Give me control for a sec, Paul. Yeah. Um, oh, good job. Yeah, let's get some music on.
Hollow Knight would make Paul retire the channel. What's <laughs> Hollow Knight? Hollow Knight is a Metroidvania type game. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, you had the, you got the, how many was that? Uh, I don't know. Um, eight, nine, 10, 11. It's triple word score, so it was a. Uh... Might have been both. So Marina says that releasing a live stream of Under a Killing Moon at 60% Scrabble. What's that? That would be conversations with Curtis jumping the shark, releasing an Under a Killing Moon stream that's 60% Scrabble. <laughs> it's not 60% Scrabble, true. it's 30% Scrabble. We have 10% human resource machine, 10% butt butt. Yeah. Um, Super Meat Boy live stream would be fun. With indie game, the movie you being one of my favorite documentary movies. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Um, how about this? Oh. Let's see. Ozzy Astaroth is talking about Erica. Erica, an FMV game by Sony. Oof. Hey, it's a new game from 2019. Does that work? That doesn't work. No way. How's, right. I didn't. Loof is a word. Loof. Use like, loof in a sentence. I like dare you. I ate loof. A meat loof. Well, this one's gonna be disappointing because uh, <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> You get? Rituals. Ah. Oh, you had to waste an S. That's sad. Uh, so, loof in American English is the palm of, it, of the hand. In Hebrew, loof is the equivalent of spam. The, the food. Not the email type. Oh, it's a one point game. Oh, I did it. I'm in. Okay, Charles Dodderman says I was a very I was a very disturbed and confused ten year old boy playing a puzzle of flesh. Thank you for being part of something that changed my life and gave me nightmares. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a compliment you were just you were confused and we we gave you nightmares so our the nightmares we gave you took your mind off of your you're welcome I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad we were here to help you know just like there are certain politicians that prefer people to be illiterate and that Boom. Way, oh, you're kidding me. That didn't go? And it's Bostonian. Bostonian. That was, ah, oh, that. I was so proud of that one. Okay. That's the way you want to do it. Okay, go ahead, Daniel. What were you saying? So just like there are politicians that prefer that people would be illiterate, then they would have to rely on them in a couple of years and thus vote for them. So the same way you did with Phantasmagoria. You gave us nightmares when we were teenagers. And that way, That's that better. way you made us lifelong fans of Phantasmagoria too. And like so- giving you nightmares. Yeah. Well, glad I could help. <clears throat> Let's play that again. Now I want to play it again. What Fantas Two? Oh my God! <laughs> listen to your listen to your tone of voice. <laughs> Fantas Two, really good. No, I just you played that. Oh my God. Yeah, I know it. many times. And and Daniel, if he had his way, we'd be playing it again right now. 
Which is oh, so we have. Hey, you snuck that in there. Okay. We I have the Phantasmagoria that. live streams, official live streams of uh, full playthroughs, and we got seven or eight speedruns of Phantasmagoria 2 on our channel. So that's ten. Hey, okay. Uh... So I'm hanging in. Yeah, honestly, we uh, talked about the Sherlock Holmes FMV games. That they were the first FMV games back in 1991. And Annie Fox wrote a couple of them. I don't like Star Wars asks, what about those Phantasmagoria 2 VHS tapes? Anything good on them? No, somebody taped the Super Bowl on them, so... It was whose turn is it? My turn, your turn? Mine, it's mine. I'm, okay. I'm stopped. Oh, and speaking of the Phantasmagoria 2 VHS tapes, um, we found a couple of deleted scenes in the VHS tapes. These are scenes that were filmed, that are available in the script, but they were never implemented in the game. They're not even on the CDs. They just, they just filmed them? Did implement them in the final game. It's is it the one where I was rolling around on the floor with the Yeah, completely naked. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's completely. the other VHS tape. Yeah, right. That's the that was the bonus features. All right. That was fast, okay. <laughs> oh, did I, did I really? Yeah, well, I worked either way. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Here's something. I could put this game on ice if I can only make it work. Given the fact that they, in the latest update of the Adam Sandler Pinball Machine, they, they replaced the sound that's played in the intro from, hey everyone, we have guests, to welcome honored guest. I wanted yeah. to ask you, as someone who actually played the, the, the actual table, which one is it? Um, you know what? I'm going to find out. Um, what do you mean? You go... haven't played it a while ago? Well, yeah, I haven't played the uh, so there's a there's a yeah, uh, there's a bar. Adam's family yeah and I haven't been there in a while so I'm actually going tomorrow night to visit to, to meet my my pal for for uh, a game of darts and I'm gonna get there a little early and I'm gonna play some actual Adam's family pinball on the machine and I will let you know Because it seems to me that this I, I already uh, I already went, but I think I'm ready to concede this one. <laughs> oh, really? Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, are we that Are we that far? Um. Yeah, this is good here. Ooh, 
that one that wow. was a dagger right there it's not that much points but it's nice what could you imagine if i was able to get that Well, if you want to concede, the timing is is good. It's yeah, good I luck. give. Yeah, have mercy. <laughs> okay. We've done everything that we can do to fill our two hour time slot, and uh, thanks everyone. And oh, no, we're all Wonka Doodle. What's going on? Wait, there you go. There we go. There, there it is. There it is. Well, okay, so we learned something. Uh, we learned something today, everyone. And and the thing I think we learned is have a backup. When in doubt, have a backup. Have something planned. Now, I would like to, if I could, I'd share my screen and I'd share with a, a note that I sent to Daniel early this morning saying, hey, what are we going to play today if we decide to get through it? And um, he didn't have a plan. So I blame Daniel. It's Daniel's fault. I love the fact fun. that when everything goes wrong, you blame me. And when everything goes right, you take all, all of the credit. Wait a minute. Who? So I basically, let me, let's just get this straight. I got a high score in the Adams Family pinball, and I mentioned it to you. And who took the credit? Huh? You did. It's you said it's because of the pep talk I gave you. For your so... Well, because uh, you were able wait, wait, to give Wait, wait, someone up. just did something. Wait, who yeah, was that? Schwex donated. Thank you, Schwex. Yes, thank, thank you. you very much, as well, always. I personally had fun, even playing putt-putt. I did, too. This is great. It's always fun hanging out with you guys. And uh, we, will, we, will conf we will confer, figure out what we're playing next. Wednesday, um, I think, w I'm not sure exactly what's going on Wednesday. Friday, Tori is going to join us for something. Uh, so I think what what most likely will start whatever our next FMV or whatever adventure with uh, Noah, if, assuming you want to join us, will probably be yeah. a week from today. I'll probably do do Monday next week. Um, in the meantime, we'll figure it all out. So does that sound about right, Daniel? Yep. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, we'll let you all go. Thanks for a fun day. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll be back with more stuff in as the week progresses. All right. Bye.